Welcome back to Cooking for Health. Joining us today is Fallon Bader with some helpful tips on reading nutrition labels. Hi there, I'm Fallon Bader and I'm a registered dietitian uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about reading food labels. So when you look at a food label, there are many different things that you can look at and I want to focus on one thing today. So I want to talk about where it says servings per container on a label. So I'm going to zoom in and show you that. But just so you know, there's always the serving size and the servings per container on every food label. So for example, this is cereal and it says this, that the serving size is one cup. Okay. And then the servings per container are seven cups. So if you didn't look at any of that and you just saw, okay, this has 210 calories in it, you need to have a context of how much does 210 calories mean or any other part of the nutrition label. So if you know, maybe you get really hungry in the morning and you usually eat about two cups worth of cereal, then you would have to times everything on the nutrition label times two, right? So for calories, it would be 420 calories instead of just 210. For sugar, you times the amount of sugar by two as well. So let's look at these crackers. Um, so the serving size here is 46 crackers. That's actually a pretty decent amount. I, you could eat less than that in a sitting. And there's seven servings of those in this box, right? So let's say you ate half of let's say you ate around 20 crackers, then instead of it being 140 calories, it would be about 70 calories. Or let's look at sodium. Instead of 280 milligrams, it would be 140 milligrams. So that's an example where you might need to actually, you know, maybe you're eating less than the serving size. And then these are some tortilla chips and the serving size here is one ounce or about 10 chips. And I don't know about you, but when I eat chips, I probably eat more than 10 chips, right? So another example where you might need to actually multiply, you know, the calories or whatever you're looking at on here by two or maybe even three, depending on how many chips you're eating. So this is a really important part of the nutrition label that I think some people look over. So I just really wanted to focus in on servings per container. And now let me show you what the label looks like. All right, so here is our cereal box, and usually the nutri nutrition label will be somewhere on the side. So this is what our nutrition label looks like, and the serving size will always be at the top in bold, and it'll say what the serving size is, so right? Serving size, one cup, and then above that will always be how many servings per container, All right? So you always, for this part of the nutrition label, you always want to look at the very, very top. Everything else will usually be below it. Um, and all nutrition labels have to be set up the same way. So once you kind of get the hang of where things are on the nutrition label, it'll help you when you look at other labels in the future. Cooking for Health. A community cooking class brought to you by First Choice Community Healthcare, Agricultura Cooperative Network, La Cosecha, and other valued community partners. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next fun and healthy recipe from Cooking for Health.